good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we are going to use Wireshark and we're going to look at something called protocol forcing or the decode as feature. So I'm going to walk you through all of the steps from scratch on how we work through this and why we even bother with this. So we have a trace in front of us. It just says TCP all the way down in these funky crazy port numbers that probably don't look familiar to you. And this is actually FTP. So FTP, like all the other applications out there, can use a different port number other than 20 and 21. In this case, it's using 2221. And I know that, and there's a way to figure it out as well. I'm going to show you that in a second. But the first thing we want to do is clean up our screen and make it more, I'm going to say, uh, agreeable to our brains. We don't need all this stuff up. It's just going to confuse us. First thing we do, up at the top here, we're going to turn the color off, because we don't need coloring rules for this example, because we're not using any of the coloring rules. We also have these three pane display. The top one, list, the middle one is called the details, and the bottom one's called the bytes. So I don't want the details, and I don't want the bytes. There we go. And we just want a screen that's a little bit simpler for us to handle. The other thing is the column width. So you can see that my IP addresses are truncated, and we can manually resize them, which I guess you could do if you really wanted to. Like Excel, you can also double click, and it'll resize as well. At the top here, there's a little icon beside the magnifying glass. Click that guy, it'll resize all of them for you. So that's a nice little shortcut as well. So let's get to it. We can see there's a beginning of the conversation, SYN, SYNAC, and there's a FIN, right? And we see a bunch of other packets. Now, if we just pick a big one, for example, and we double click on it, let me just bring this up here for you. You can see there's text here, right? Need a password for Android, right? So that means there's text in there. And I know for a fact it's FTP. Now, if you didn't know if it was FTP, you can just try FTP. And if it didn't work, then try Telnet and then try HTTP. But there's a whole bunch of ways of looking through the packets to find out exactly what's in it. If I right click on one of these, I'm going to go to the conversation filter. And TCP will just filter out the one conversation. That would give us a clue. The other thing you could do is go to follow TCP stream. And there it is. So with TCP stream, it shows us all the output. And if this does look familiar to most people who've done FTP, this is FTP, right? But again, if it didn't look familiar, you could just guess and play and figure one out. So I'm going to close that off. I'm going to get rid of my display filter. And now the magic. Let's go to Analyze. We're going to go down to Decode As. And if you take a look here, it's empty, right? By default, it's empty. If you've played with it before, it'll have your settings in the screen. And I have nothing. So we're going to add. We're going to add TCP port 222. In this case, it's selected 222. We'll also do 221 as well. Or you can just come up here and change to 221 and do it manually as well. Default, it says SSL. And we want to change the current to FTP. And there's FTP right there. So OK. The other one we're going to do is 222. Now, for the people who've uh, started catching on to this, you might say, hey, wait a minute. Analyze. Let me do this again. Analyze, decode as. You might say, how do you know it's 221, 222? Well, again, you can look through the details, or you could just guess. It's one good way to do it. It's not going to hurt anything. So again, I'm going to come over here, FTP. Because one of them is going to be FTP, and the other one's going to be the FTP data, right? I'm trying to guess which one is going to be the FTP. So I'm going to click OK. And now you, all of a sudden, see, now I can read all the stuff here. So there you go. So decode as is used when Wireshark can't figure out what the protocol is and you think you know what it is, you can always go to decode as. This is also helpful when you deal with certain networks that put data in the front of the packet and gives you something called an offset. So the data is pushed into the packet and this is a good way to see that as well. So hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.